Hey YouTube, it's Sean with Griffin RC Planes. 99! <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you so much. At the time of this recording, 99 subscribers. Awesome. Like I mentioned uh, before, I'll keep up my end uh, if you guys keep up yours. So, we got a long ways to go. You know, um, I guess you can call it just a teaser is what you've seen so far. Hey, today's Sunday evening. I went out flying today. I had that, uh, well, it's not here, the camera strapped to my head for probably an entire hour. I felt like I, I felt like I nailed it, that, that I should go apply for a job in Hollywood. And I took the dang thing off my head and the screen had all these lines going through it and it looked like the camera crashed. So, but then on the remote, it showed the counter going, it, it, you can see the battery life on the camera and all, that was fine. So I don't know if I captured anything or not. So if, if I did, you guys will get to see it uh, tomorrow or something. Um, anyways, back to where we're, it, it's Sunday afternoon. I hope you guys got to go flying this weekend. Uh, you know, Saturday, the weather was horrible. You couldn't even fly a kite, it was so windy. But but today, today was okay. It was a little on the breezy side, but not, not breezy enough where you, you couldn't enjoy yourself. And then I was uh, talking to a guy at the field today, and we were talking about my smart charger. You know, I don't use the smart batteries, but I have this charger because it was a good deal, and I was looking for one to charge two batteries. Well, I had updated it because sometimes people at the field want to charge their, uh, their smart battery, the Generation 2, the one that doesn't have a uh, balance lead. So I got the update cable, and I updated it. Well, this guy and I were talking today, and he was under the impression that you could update your charger with two different types of cables, and I didn't know at that time. Well, I figured it out. So if you're, if you're watching, to update your charger, you have to use the USB to what looks like an RCA headphone jack, but this is actually like a four-way RCA jack, the, you know, where you could do like a microphone and headphones on the same cable. And then to a USB adapter. I don't know if, if this adapter is proprietary for um, for the Spectrum products or if it's just an adapter. I don't know at that point. But that's what I used to update the charger. Now the directions are kind of vague. You know, it says plug in your update USB cable into the round hole in the side of your charger, and then it, then it says or USB to micro USB cable and that's just kind of where it stands but then a few a, a paragraph down or something it starts talking about the XBC 100 battery checker and servo driver so I went ahead and after I read about it I updated my servo uh, driver and battery checker and uh, we'll do I got some videos coming on both of these updates but the USB to micro USB is just like your cell phone charger, but, but this cable can carry data, not just charge, it can also do data. You can use it. I use one very similar for my camera. So the micro USB data capable is for the XBC100. And the USB to the RCA cable headphone uh, plug is for the charger only. I got videos going to come on both that stuff. Also, the new pits came today. So we'll do a video on that and maybe we'll compare it to the uh, version 1. And uh, on the version 1, when I got this, the landing gear was gone. So I ordered some landing gear. I haven't uh, tried it yet. We'll do it here on the channel, but we'll see if the landing gear for the new one fits on the old one I also got the oh uh, the, the little bars that go between the wings I, I don't know the name of that but I got a set of those because on the older pits they were kind of messed up so we'll fix all that stuff we'll, we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison and I'm also really bummed out man that my box is torn now, I'm really sad that the the big box that this came in had a hole in it and I looked at it, didn't even think anything about it. And then as I'm cutting the tape and about to pull this out, 
I saw it. So, man, I'm, I'm not that guy, but I am this time. I've already emailed Horizon to see what we, what we can do for a box. I mean, I'd say the box is, in my opinion, 60% of the plane is the box. You know, the, the, the box is your, your briefcase to carry it around in. It's also your workbench, like we did with the, uh, you know, with the turbo timber. The, the styrofoam that, that this is sitting in, you can pull it out and lay the plane in it. So this box is half the plane. And it protects it and it's cool, you know. Look, look at this box. This box is uh, probably 12 years old. Who knows how many people have owned it. Uh, when I got it, that guy said that he just traded for it. So I know I'm the third person to have it, you know, since I've known about it. Who knows how many people have owned that plane and and the box has survived so we'll see if they send me a box i'll let you know if they do well okay guys hey 99 hopefully we'll hit 100 in the next day or so and then um and then we'll figure out what we're going to do about uh making everything fair so i can give you guys a, a mystery prize or give one of you lucky people a mystery prize from me and i will mail it worldwide if uh, putin hasn't destroyed it by then well, all right, guys, hey, thank you so much. And uh, until next time, which will be real soon, we hit 100. You'll see me here. Thank you.